Just, just let me do this. Just get out of the way. And I gotta do all this too. Can't you help me at all? Seeing someone who has a physical disease or a visible disability elicits within us feelings of empathy and compassion. We can see that a person is unable to do the same things that an unimpaired person can do. Most people who live with a mental illness will not look as if they have a brain disorder, a chemical imbalance, or a psychiatric diagnosis. But mental illness is a wide range of brain disorders that affect a person's thoughts, moods, perceptions, the ability to relate, and the ability to focus. Though treatable, many people do experience debilitating effects. One in four adults in the United States experiences a mental illness disorder in any given year. Yet less than one-third of them will receive any mental health services. 25, 22, go ahead. As a patrol officer, you will most likely come in contact with a person who has a serious or prolonged mental illness when they are in a crisis situation. Ten far. This can include suicidal depression, risk-taking behavior, or hallucinations and delusions. 25, 22, 27, 10. I'll be 10, 23. Officer safety is the number one criteria when responding to a mental health crisis call. But it's important as a first responder to understand that the sensory perceptions of a person in a mental health crisis are very different from perceptions of a person not in crisis. Hi, it's Jennifer with the River Falls Police Department. Can you open the door for me? Tell me what's going on today. Would it be okay if I came in and talked to you? Come in. Okay, thank you. Joe, is there anybody here with you? Mental thoughts can be racing by, and a person might have trouble focusing on what you are saying. Sound can slow down, and conversation can be slow to comprehend. Hey, Joe, well, Joe, I'm here to help you today, okay? Mm -hmm. Use less words rather than more. Expect responses and understanding to take longer. I don't want to talk about it. I don't. I. I don't want to talk about it. I just don't feel good. Okay. I've been taking my meds. I've been taking them. I've been taking. I have been taking them recently, but I've been taking them. People in a mental health crisis will still understand at an unconscious level. They respond to body language and facial expressions. Get good eye contact. Introduce yourself. Offer to help and ask the person to help you. Avoid power struggles. Rather, offer the person options and be clear in your expectations. The person you come in contact with in a mental health crisis situation may still be taken for emergency detention. However, there are specific strategies you can use to verbally de-escalate the crisis. Okay. This means the situation is safer for you, safer for the person, less traumatic for everyone involved, and takes less time in the long run. Be an active listener using brief responses and knowing the person probably needs to emotionally vent. Be empathetic to their situation and build a rapport with them. 
Once you feel that a level of trust has been created, you can identify key issues, offering options, and begin to influence their behavior. Behavioral change happens when you set clear and simple limits. You give the person time to respond, and they participate in making the best decision possible under the circumstances.